Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Fine art typically only on the walls of museums. Well, my next guest is Bren Bataclan, who has been sharing his works in a unique way, pretty much for the price of a smile. Welcome to Bay Sunday, Bren. Thank you for having me. This is this story is fantastic. So Thank you. you have pieces of art and you want to share them, and the price just a smile. Tell just us how smile. what inspired you, what started it all. Well, I grew up here in the Bay Area, and I saw lots of street art, but it wasn't the type of kid who would spray paint a wall or something. So I said, hey, you know, why don't I do my own street art, but instead of spray painting, just leave them on a park bench and at the same time spread happiness and joy. Okay, so what year was it? What were you thinking, your first experience of leaving a picture at a park bench, what, what happened? Um, was well, it a park bench or was, where, where, was it park somewhere bench. else? Okay. So a block away from where I live in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So this was fall of 2003. Okay. And um, I was an unemployed ex dot comer and I didn't have a job. So I said, hey, why don't I start painting these characters? And they sold really well in my first viewing. So to think Boston and I left about 30 paintings around um, Cambridge and Boston and a full-time career started after that. I'm going to show this painting right here. Describe to us what your artwork is about. All right. So um, I watch a lot of anime, so it has a very kind of cartoon feel to it. And most of my characters have one big eye and one little one. I have absolutely no idea why I do that. <laughs> and I big just eye, small eye, yeah. Big, yeah. small. And I mostly just paint from the neck and up, so I just like to hone in on their smiles. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to that uh, time when you were in Cambridge. You left. Uh, some artwork mm -hmm. in a park. Yeah. What was the reaction that you got from people? Um, what were the, it, the exchanges like? Well, there were lots of instant smiles and folks took them and um, I got lots of really nice positive messages and it's always just blossomed from there and um, school started to hire me to give talks about uh, my work as this like, kindness related um, and then I um, eventually started to paint murals but it's Mostly a lot of just simple thank yous and um, lots of joy. Yeah, and, and, and you've inspired so many people, including children and, and students yes. uh, in various parts of the country. Tell yeah. us a little bit about some of the work that you're doing uh, with some of the kids here. Yeah, so um, I give lots of school presentations. And um, what's neat about it is that most of my mural projects are based on the kids' artwork. So like I take their drawings and I paint them. And my characters are really simple to um, draw and uh, mimic and so the kids feel empowered to like draw their own versions of brand like characters mm -hmm. and then so like once again I take their drawings and I paint them and so their work becomes part of the school's history and legacy when I paint them it, that's a final product. But the bigger message to the students is kindness and kindness. passing it along. Passing it along yeah so, so pay back, it forward. Yeah exactly yes. now in 2008 I heard over a course of three days you were able to <laughs> dish out and share 115 pieces of artwork. That must have been tiring. City. It was tiring, and I didn't really plan it all that well because it okay. was sort of all, also raining, I had bags of paintings, but it was well worth it, and I left them all over the up city, and I got lots of feedback, and it was a wonderful experience. So it must have been quite a sight, you know, people following you in yes. Central Park, yes. uh, try, trying to get one of your, your paintings. Yep. Uh, so far to this date, you've been doing this for now, so you said it was 2003 Three. when you started yes. it, so roughly 14 years. Yeah. How many drawings and paintings have you, have you given away? I think I've given away maybe 2,700, close to 3,000 paintings um, in all 50 states and in about 70 different countries. Mm -hmm. So that's me in Wales, those are folks who found paintings in Wales. I was just there two weeks ago in Wales. And I also started to give away paintings here in, um, here in the Bay Area. So those are folks who found it at SFO. That's a kid in Wales. Um, his dad found a painting. So that's someone from the Logan Airport. She found, yeah. So it's pretty neat. It must be fascinating looking at the smiles when you, when the, if someone sends something into you or even yeah. some of the stories that people write in. I'm sure over the years you've collected so many stories and, and reached out and people have reached out to you thanking yes. you. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So 90% of them are just, as I said, simple thank you notes, but some are really personal. Um, one, um, there's a, a student in the Midwest who found one of my paintings and he said it wasn't the only reason why he, this is pretty depressing, 
take his own life, but he said it helped him not continue with it. So there are some pretty intense messages that I've received. Um, Thank so, you for sharing that part sure. of the story. Uh, in terms of, of, of when you travel now, yeah. are you constantly carrying around your artwork to kind of inspire and also to keep continue giving? Yes, and so um, I typically bring between five to 15 paintings with me. This summer is pretty um, special because I was um, in Wales for three weeks and I'll be here for close to a month. So I had 30 paintings total. Mm -hmm. So this time I brought many little paintings. Typically um, what I bring is probably half the size of this kitty paintings. Yeah. I love cats. Um, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I bring them with me and I usually leave them on park benches. Brent, thank you so much. Your, your story is very inspiring. Thank you for joining us here on Bay Sunday. Thank you again. You can learn more about Bren's unique artwork on his website, bataclan.com. That is it for this week. Be sure to visit our website, cbssf.com slash Bay Sunday, and our Facebook page where you can pitch us your ideas. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for watching.